Kennedy crossover matchup between the Providence Celtics and your Brother Ice Crusaders. Before we start our game, I ask that you stand to join us in prayer, led by Will Renee. In the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit, dear Father, may we compete with your heart, shine through ours. May we push ourselves to be what you tell us we can be. May we have kindness in our hearts, mindful in our soul, mindfulness in our souls, and endurance to finish. Keep us up, keep us and our competitors safe from harm, and let our actions be a testament to your glory. Bless our Mother of Christ, Mother of Perpetual Health, Lift Jesus in our hearts, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Will. I ask that you all remain standing. Kindly move your caps to the playing of our national anthem. Province. Number eight, Hayden Hill. Number nine, Jackson Fowler. Number five, Ethan Matoon. Number two, Peyton Kesmeric. Number three, Nico Crabby. Number 13, Sean Dovin. And starting the barrel, number seven, Andrew Lubinsky. The Celtics are led by head coach Lee Krasinski. And now for your brother Rice Crusaders, number 26, Junior Matt Phelan. Number two, Junior Zach Mikrit. Number seven, Junior Carter Mosel. Number 11, Junior John Mikrit. Number 17, Junior Paul Baker. Number 18, Junior Tanner Klinger. And starting the barrel for the Crusaders, number 12, Junior Ryan Collins. The Crusaders are coached by Brandon McGinnis, assisted by Moises Lopez, Hunter Mishnan, and Josh Blair. Good luck, whole team. Good evening, Crusader fans, and welcome to Brother Ice High School for some volleyball action. Tonight, your Brothers Crusaders will be taking on the Providence Celtics. I'm Brian Sheehan, alongside me, Timmy Reedy. Timmy, how are we feeling coming into this game? I'm feeling pretty confident about the Crusaders' chances tonight in this game, so... Hoping to see a good one. Yeah, this will definitely be a good game as Crusaders open Catholic League play here tonight against Providence. So big games going down the rest of the season. Hoping to get good conference records. Crusaders trying to start the break off right. You know, coming back for spring break. It's been a week since they've played a game. Their last game was March 28th against Riverside Brookfield. They won both sweats, sets sweeping 2-0. While for Providence, 
I mean, they've been playing. They've their last game was April sixth, so they're they're fresh. Uh, beat Willowbrook two nothing, so uh, should be a good game. See how the Crusaders respond with a week off from play. Crusaders come into this one five and four, while Providence comes in ten and seven. Crusaders trying to stay above that five hundred mark. Your starters for the Crusaders will be Junior Matt Phelan, Junior Zach Mikrit, Junior Carter Mosel, Junior John Mikrit, Junior Paul Baker, and your libero Junior Ryan Collins. One thing about this Crusader team is that they are very young. They have 12, 12 juniors and only two seniors, which is huge, especially under a first-year coach like with Coach McGinnis. He gets to know his players, gets to keep them for an extra year. You know, this will help. They'll be a dangerous team next year. They all play club, for the most part, most of them play on the same club team during the offseason, so they have a lot of great chemistry. They know how to play well together, and that's definitely one of their strengths that they need to follow here today. Said over to Baker. Phelan tips it. And tip is short, point Providence. We do not currently have rosters for Providence, so we will just be referring to them as their number. Not a great start for the Crusaders there. For seven serve over Baker. Over to Phelan. Micra at the tip over. Eight with the spike. Tips off the top of the net and gets the bounce. Two nothing Providence. Seven serve. Mikrit handles it. Over to Phelan. Mark Bozo with a big spike, but defended well. And that goes long, out of bounds. Crusaders are on the board. That was a violent serve there. Really set Providence off guard. 26, number 26, Matt Phelan, be the first serve of the day for the Crusaders. Phelan's serve is over in the middle. Number two with the spike and slams it home. Providence gets another point on the board. Their spikes have been their spikes have been on point so far. They've been finding the right spots. They've been coming in hard and they're just they're hitting the open spots. Substitution for Providence number 10 checking in for number 9. Phelan sets up. Micrit Micrit slam is good. Spike was a little too low for number seven to handle, getting the Crusaders points. And now number four checking in for number ten for Providence. Providence is making a lot of substitutions very early on. So Zach Mikert, your server for the Crusaders. Mikert serve into the net, be a point Providence. Now another substitution for Providence, number six checking in for number five. And number six will be Providence's server here. Mikrit handles it. Phelan over to Mikrit. Defended. Number three over to four. Tipped by Mosel. Phelan sets up. Mikrit the spike. Great recovery there by Providence. That'll be a point. Providence. Providence did a nice job there. Crusaders giving him some giving hard spikes, but Providence do a good job defending it well. And then set up a spike, hit it again in the right spot. Yeah. Number 13 on Providence with pinpoint accuracy in the corner right there. Six. Collins handles it. Micrit the spike, and it's good. Number 18, Tater Cleaner checking in for Ryan Collins. Mosel serve, seven, defends it. 
over to 13. And that is going to be a point Providence as it was hit off the arms of Kleiner trying to defend. Providence is coming out with a lot of energy in this first set. As Ryan Collins will check back in, coming in for Carter Mosel. Number two serve is long, and it's going to go out of bounds, Crusader point. John Mike right now, the server for the Crusaders. And Mikrit's serve is eight. And a bit of a, a bit of a sneaky move there from Providence. Gets the job done as they earn the point. Substitute for Providence, number nine, checking in for number four. And for the Crusaders, number 15, Jimmy Lyons checking in for Matt Phelan. And George Escobarett, number 21, checking in for John Mikrit, number 11. Collins sets up Escobarette. Cleaner with the serve. It's defended. Good Bump. recovery by Providence. Escobarette. Barrett. Mike Ritt. Spike is good. We've seen here early. Providence hasn't been able to defend really any of either of the Mike Ritt spikes really. I'm, if I'm not mistaken, almost all of their points have come off of Mike Ritt spike. Yeah, both the Mike Ritt brothers are on point tonight. As Paul Baker's serve goes into the net. Baker, Baker, a three-year varsity player. One of the, been here. On the team since he was a freshman. One of the best volleyball players on this Crusader team. Collins with the bump. Escobarette. Mikrit tip over. Mikrit the spike and that's good. Once again, the Micro Brothers just really putting putting the pedal to the metal on that one. Carter Mosel checking back in. It's Ryan Collins, the server. Collins with a little lighter serve. Collins with the set. Escobarette over to Lions. Lions is spike. Going to cause damage as Providence is not able to return that. Going out of bounds. Crusader point. Collins serve just over the net and whatever gets the job done there not not always the hardest or the fastest serve but no it was a light serve just got over you got the job done yeah it doesn't have to be pretty there points a point and we have a tie ball game here and Crusaders did a nice job defending there but Providence was able to sneak it through for the point oh excuse me no it was a Crusader point Crusaders, nice job defending there, and they take their first lead of the day. Oh, what a save by number seven. Great hustle there. Mosel spike. Baker, Escobarette setting up. Mikrit, and they defend that well. This time, Mikrit spike, not able to get through, and Providence ties it right back up. What a rally, centered around number seven, just making the great hustle play, saving the ball. Seven serve goes into the net. It's a 10-9 Crusader lead. As Matt Phelan checks in for Jimmy Lyons and John Riker will come in for George Jessica Barrett. And Matt Phelan will be your server. Phelan serve. Number nine with the spike and it gets in. Providence tying it right back up. You 
know, every time Crusaders have been able to take a lead, they haven't been able to hold on to it very long. Providence responding right back on the very next play and tying it right back up. Mikrit over to Phelan. Setting up Mikrit again. That's blocked. Collins with the rebound. Over to Mikrit. That's defended. Number three. Over to five with the spike. And that goes long, out of bounds. Crusader point. And number four, checking in for number 10 for Providence. Zach Mikert looking for the ball as it went out of the gym. And he recovered it. And we are back on. Mike Ritz serve, bump by number 13. Two with the tip. Phelan bumping it over to Collins. Mike Ritz puts it over. Three with the bump. Seven. Over to five with the spike. Blocked. Number three. Over to 13 with the spike. Phelan gets it over to Mosel. Mike Ritz, the tip over. And that gets down for a point. Great team play by it. Great team play there by the Crusaders. Crusaders, so nice job on the defensive side, blocking the spikes, just staying with it, and set up the point. Mikrit serve over number 13. Three with it. And it's going to be a Crusader point. On an illegal touch, I think. And Providence is going to call a timeout. Your score... Brother S. Crusaders 13, Providence Celtics 10. We are back here after the Providence timeout. Crusaders lead 13 to 10. Mike Ritt remains the server. Mike Ritt set over. Blocked by Mosel and Baker. Crusaders got a point. Brother Rice coming out of that timeout hot. A little update for you. We have the rosters from the Providence Celtics starting lineup. So we will be addressing some players by their name. We do not have a full roster. Some will still remain just by their jersey number. As Phelan sets it up over to Collins. Mike with the spike. And that's blocked by Ethan Mountain. And Providence gets a point. As Substitution for Providence. Number six coming in for number five. Number six, the server. Mikrit handles it. Over to Mikrit. And the spike too much. Andrew Lubinsky, number seven, wasn't able to get a good read on that one. Kind of just hit off the side of his arm and went backwards. Mosel, the server. A little deflection. Diving play by Mosel. What a play. Spike in, Phelan handles it. Mosel sets up, Mike Ritt. Mike Ritt, little tip over. Oh, apparently Lubinsky got a hand on it. Phelan diving play. Mike Ritt, over to number six. Heavy spike, what a block by Mosel. Great defense here from the Crusaders. What a sequence going on right now. 
Mosul another diving play, and that's a point Crusaders. I mean, you just said it. What a sequence there. Headlined by Carter Mosul. He was diving left and right for every ball. He made that whole sequence happen. Those are the type of plays that shifts momentum, and Brother Rice got the momentum right there. 13 spike, Mosul deflection goes into the stains. It's going to be Providence point. Number eight, Hayden Hill checking in for number seven, Andrew Lubinsky. Mikrit over to Phelan. Mikrit over to Hill. Deflection by Mikrit. Phelan with the set. Collins. Sets up Mikrit. Deflection. Clinger. Over to Baker. Baker's shot goes long. Providence point. And Kaden Kazmarek serving for Providence. Mikrit handle over to Phelan. Setting up Klinger. Klinger shot just in on the back end. Crusaders add to the lead. There's Lubinsky checking back in for Providence. Mike at the server. Bump over. Baker wanted to spike but defended well. Mike at Lubinsky defends it. Spike over is long out of bounds. Crusader ball. <laughs> Mike serve over to Davin. Phelan, the setup. Mike Ritt. Lubinsky setting up for Davin. Davin little tip over. Mikrit has it. Over to Phelan. Baker with the spike, and it's good. Great set up there by the Crusaders. Matt Phelan playing a great role in that one. A hard spike by Paul Baker. Too much for the defender there. Mike with the serve. Over to Davin. And a hard spike by Hill. It's 18-14. And he hit that hard. Number 9, Jackson Fowler coming in for Providence. Number 21, George Jessica Barrett coming in for the Crusaders. And number 15, Jimmy Lyons checking in. Number three, Nico Crabe, the server for Providence. Baker handles it over to Escobarette. Set a little offline. Lions with the spike. Providence there to defend it. And it's a 19-15 game. Once again, every time the Crusaders are attempting to pull away, Providence is just staying with them. Baker spike defended again. Second straight, second straight possession now. Uh, Providence done a nice job defending the spike. Rabe over to Baker. Lions spikes it at high set, hit the ceiling. Wasn't. Providence, a little miscommunication there. Falls down, hits the ground. Crusader point. Yeah, when they go off the ceiling, it can be a little hard to handle. Baker serve. A little missed time there. So they just kind of hit it over weakly. Went out of bounds. And another Providence timeout.
So, I mean, we've got a little break in the action here. Baseball season just started. You riding Cubs or Sox this year? I'm riding with the Sox. I know it's not looking too good, but my hometown team, so. I think, you're, you? think you're making a mistake there. One and nine. Got to come over and support the Cubbies. Last night wasn't last night wasn't a great game, but you know, still looking better. It's Things are looking start. better. It's a rough start. We got some playmakers out there. Luis Robert, center field. He's, he's out though. He's hurt for a while. Yeah, I do know he's hurt. It's gonna be. We got some dog days coming up. Yoan Moncada left the game today with an injury. Eloy it's, Jimenez is most likely injured. I mean, let's be honest. When is he not injured? Yeah, I agree. Completely agree. Last year I was at a game. He ran into the left field wall and injured himself. He's out for like two months. Yeah, you're, you're, you're welcome for him, by the way. You're, you're welcome for Eli. I want him to succeed, but... Tell me just one last quick thought. Thoughts on UConn winning back-to-back cha -back championships last night? I mean, I wasn't happy with it, but at the same time, they're the best team in college basketball. The best team won, in my opinion. Producer Brian Dalgao doesn't like UConn. Any thoughts, Brian? Good team, just... Yes. Obviously the better team this year, but, you know, we'll see. Well, why not taking it next year? We'll see. It's like a tough loss to UConn this year, but lead A appearance, not bad. Let's see how it turns out. Baker serve. Defense doesn't seem to have been ready for Providence. As Crusaders get the point, 23-16. Baker's serve. A little bit of a weird read on that from number six. And it's match point for the Crusaders. Brother Rice is pulling away in this set. Baker's serve. Davin Spike. Collins with the rebound. Davin Spike. Good defense by the Crusaders. Klinger and Lions on the front lines. Crusaders take the first set. 25-16. Both teams coming out aggressive. I really like this action. So after one set, Brother Rice taking the first one, leading 1-0. First set, 25-16. Brother Rice wins.
We are back here for the start of the second set. Crusaders took the first one, 26-15. Timmy, what did you like there from the Crusaders in the first set? I liked their hustle. They were really aggressive coming out. A lot of great spikes from the Mike Rip brothers. Both of them carrying the load for this Crusader team. Really excited for this next set and possibly two sets. Yeah, Crusaders did a nice job with hustle, like you said. Did a nice job with hustle that diving for every ball. We saw that one series, Carter Mosel dove for like four balls. Great defense there. Saw how they ended the set with Lions and Klinger up in the front, defending the spike. If they just keep doing that the second set, they're at, they have a good chance of winning the second set and escaping with a win. BRTV's own Matt Phelan is serving and playing this game. Don't know if we mentioned that earlier, but got to give a shout out to Matt Phelan. Phelan representing BRTV out there. Be a st server to start this second set. Serve goes long. Providence point. As number 10 checks in for Providence, he will be the server to start their second set. Baker sets it over to Phelan, setting up Mike Ritt. Spike is inbounds. And Crusaders tie it up. Number four checking in for number 10 for the Providence Celtics. Zach Mike Ritt, your server for the Crusaders. Mike Ritt serve. Hit back, Cowns with it. Set, Phelan sets up Mike Ritt. Davin, Sert, serve, excuse me, Cowns handles it. Mike Ritt, spike, tipped. And it went out of bounds. Crusaders get the point. Mike Ritt remains the server. Lubinsky's defense goes way up in the air. Davin Spike misses left and out of bounds. Crusaders have three straight. Crusaders making some wise choices letting those balls go by. I mean, I know it's tempting when you see that ball when it's on the border. Mike serve over to Davin, sets it. Number two with the set. Collins, nice diving play by there, Collins. But Mosel's tip is just a little left and goes out of bounds. So number six is checking in for number five, Ethan Mountain. Number six, your server here. His serve, Collins defends it, setting up Mikrit. Mikrit, the little tip. Lubinsky got a hand on it. And Mikrit then finds the hole. It's 4-2. Number seven on Providence is really hustling out there, but Micro Brothers are just pounding them all day. The Micro Brothers were dual sport athletes their freshman and sophomore years. Star stars on the basketball team and volleyball team ultimately chose volleyball over basketball. And it's proven here to be a good choice. Volleyball's been their first love, and they've thought they were better at it, and clearly been a good choice. I believe they might be making a comeback in basketball. Side note on that. Is Mosel serve defended over Baker? Did get a good read on the spike. It falls short, and Providence takes the point. Ryan Collins checking in for Carter Mosel. Number two serve goes long. It's out of bounds, Crusader point. John Mike with the server for the Crusaders. Mike with serve, bumped over. And it's a point, Crusaders, number six. Didn't look too happy with that. I think his bump went a little longer than what he wanted it to.
Mikrit tips over the net. Lubinsky with the bump. Dab and spike goes long and out of bounds once again. Providence had trouble keeping those spikes in bounds. Because they've gotten a lot of points off. The ball is going out of bounds. And you noted earlier, they've done, they've done a nice job of reading those balls well and making sure they're not going for any out of bounds. Yeah, in the second set, they've really had trouble keeping those balls in bounds. And they really just got to gain their composure, keep the balls in bounds under control. And I think they're going to be just fine. But... Number nine, checking in for number four, for Providence. And for the Crusaders, number 15, Jimmy Lyons, checking in. For the Crusaders, and number 10, Will Murnane, checking in. The only two seniors on this Crusader squad. As Klinger's spike goes into the net, Providence gets the point, 8-5. Providence did a great job of recovering there off that hard spike off hit him in the head, but any way to get the points, right? Krabs serve over. Baker with the spot set over. Krabs sets up. Eights goes defended well. Solo block there from the Crusaders. And it's a 9-5. Paul Baker will be your server. Dabbing with the set, Crabe over. Dabbing spike. Goes long. And it's 10 5. Dabbing, Dabbing in particular, number 13. He's had trouble keeping that inbounds. I think almost all of his spikes so far this set have been either long, have been long or just, just out. He's had trouble keeping him in bounds. Powerful serve there by Murnane. Good defense there from Mike and Klinger. Davin, Spike, Collins with the set. Bump, excuse me. Mikrit, tip over. Davin, tip over. Both teams Lions. Having a great sequence. Lubinsky set. Davin, Spike, Collins with the bump. And it's going to be a Crusader, excuse me, Providence point. Great hustle by both teams, you know. Showing the effort, laying it all out on the line. Yeah, like I said, there were some ni nice plays there on both sides. Great back and forth action. Love to see it. Great volleyball. Davin's serve. Collins handles it over to Murnane. Micro spike handled by Lubinsky. And it'll be a Crusader point. It's Carter Mosel checking in for Tater Klinger. Those serves from the Micro Brothers are really hard to handle on Providence. Counts to serve, goes in the net. That'll be a Providence point. So Lubinsky serving for Providence. Lubinsky a little soft serve going into the net. Crusaders having subs. Fail Matt Phelan checking in for Jimmy Lyons. And John Mikrit checking in for Will Murnane. Phelan the serve. And Phelan serve. Bumped over. Number nine puts it over. Mikrit the setup. Phelan setting up Mikrit. Mikrit spike. Lubinsky with the bump. Over to Crabe. Davin, excuse me, number five. Spike is no good. Crusaders got the point. Point Crusaders. Crabe has it. Number two set. Cut me in a little hot for Phelan. Wasn't able to get a clear read on it. And not able to set himself. That's going to be a point for Providence. Number 10 checking in for number 9, Jackson Fowler. It's 
10 to serve. Lefty server on Providence. We don't see it right now. Binsky's bump. Phelan over to Collins. Mike spike. Nice diving play by Collins, but it looks to be out of bounds. And will be point will go towards Providence. And Providence being forced to take a timeout as one of their players is called for illegal equipment for wearing a chain. Got some equipment issues. Got to check that before the game. Come in the game prepared. I didn't think I didn't think that'd be a problem, personally. Yeah, sometimes in these games, it's the little things that decides the outcome. Could mess up the momentum there a little bit. Providence had started gaining some momentum. Could shake it up a little bit. I didn't have to take a time out there, but I had to take one eventually on the equipment. Got to hold the players accountable on that. We got a little baseball update for you. Brother Rice at Fenwick today. And we are in the bottom of the seventh. Brother Rice leading 12-4. to J.D. Maloney on the mound trying to close it out. So hopefully Brother Rice can come away with a win on the baseball field and on the volleyball court here today. <laughs> Problem resolved. Play is about to resume. Number 10, your server for Providence. As yeah, number 10 serve, Mikrit handles it over to Phelan. Mikrit the spike, good defense there for Providence. Collins over. Mikrit, little throw over. Number two shot. It's going to be Point Crusaders. And number four checking in for number 10 on Providence. Zach Mike at the Crusader server. Phelan handles it over to Mike Ritt. Handled by Davin. Over to number three. Number two. Good defense there from the Crusaders. Great block. And Malton shot going out of bounds. Crusader point. 15-9. Providence has had a couple of those. Balls go out of bounds. Got to keep them in bounds. Keep them in play. That's really what's killed them here in this second set. They did a good job keeping most of their shots in bounds on the first set. But the second set... A lot of their shots have been going out of bounds. Mike makes a diving effort on that one, unable to fly the ball back. Number six checking in for number five, and six will be Providence's server. Six is serve. Mike handles it over to Phelan. Mozo with the spike. But just out of bounds, Providence point. Number six is serve. Collins handles it over to Phelan. Mikert's spike is good. Right past number seven, Lubinsky. Crusaders add another. Man, Providence might want to wear a hard hat. Mikert serves, really coming down hard. Mosel, the server. A little bit of a quick move there for number three. Baker's shot, failed with the rebound. Mosel over to Mikert. Mosel with the rebound, over to Phelan. Setting up Mikert, Mikert's spike is good. Mikers have been dominating with their spikes. Providence seems to have no answer for them. And 
Mosul serve. Well, that'll be a point for the Crusaders. The 18 18 11 and Providence will take another timeout. Well, Timmy, NFL draft just a couple weeks away. Bears hold the number one pick. Obviously, traded Justin Fields to Pittsburgh. Uh, what what are your th what are, where do you stand on that? You happy that we're going to be most likely be taking Caleb Williams, or do you wish we stuck with Fields? I think it's a bittersweet moment. I mean, Fields, he kind of didn't really have start off with a great team. He had to carry his team kind of, but at the same time, they brought in a lot of weapons for Caleb Williams to succeed. I mean, nobody could predict if he doesn't pan out or if he does, but I'm more interested in the number ninth overall pick if they're going to take an edge rusher, tackle, or wide receiver. And I saw some reports, I don't know how true these are, but I saw some reports that Bears would be are potentially trying to look up to trade up from number nine to try and take both Caleb Williams and Marvin Harrison Jr. Be yeah. an elite tandem right there. Yeah, and uh, some draft boards, people have them as the number one and number two prospects in the whole draft class. I mean, to get both of those players, that'd be a very successful draft. Definitely going to be an exciting upcoming football season for the Bears. Williams, if he is taking number one, will be the best position any number one pick has gone into. I think another big question about that is, who's going to work 13? Keenan Allen or Caleb Williams? I mean, Keenan Allen's got the veteranship, but if like the quarterback just has that power, you know, I feel like he, it's up to them. Who, who knows? We'll find out come training camp. And Devin with a big spike there. Getting Providence a little energy there. 18-13. Number two serve, Mikert handles it over to Phelan. Mikert throw over, tipped up by number two. Tip for number three, Devin Spike. Collins with the bump. Phelan tipping it over, Mike P Baker, excuse me. And there was not a Providence defender near enough too with a di great diving effort but went under the net. Crusader point, it's 19-13. John Micra at your server. Lubinsky with the bump. Davin Spike. Just falls just in front of Micra. Point Providence. It's Matt, uh, excuse me, Jimmy Lyons checking in for Matt Phelan and Will Murnane checking in for John Micra. And over on the Providence side, number nine, checking in for number four. Number three, Nico Crabe, your saver. Or, excuse me, your server. And Lions spike is blocked. Good defense there from Providence, and they're starting to make a little comeback here. Crabe serve. Baker handles it over to Murnane. Cleaner spike. Another good defense there from Providence. They've been a brick wall those past two possessions. Just like that, Providence Celtics are right back in this game. Forcing Brother Rice take their first time out of the day. Yeah, I think the Crusaders came out a little shocked. They're a little riled right now. They need to come back, getting some of that momentum back, and... Hopefully they can close out this set and ultimately win the game. It would be a huge win for the Crusaders. They can start off conference play right with a W. Yeah, I completely agree with you right there. Conference games are so important in this CCL. Such competitive league and Brother Rice has got to stay competitive in that. Coming out of the timeout, Crusaders lead 19-16. Crusaders looking to score six more 
take this game, take this second set, and going home with the victory after taking the first set. It's a good defense here. Another good sequence here. And that's going to be a Providence point, 19-17. Providence is rallying out of that timeout. I really think they got a good shot at winning this set. All the momentum has shifted to Providence's side. They need to set up. Clingers tip over. Lubinsky with it. The sir, Spike, excuse me. Collins handles it over Murnane. Lions tip. No, great defense from Providence there. And Klinger with the kill. It's 2017. That was a vital point for the Crusaders. Take some of that momentum back. Slow this game down a little bit. Baker to serve. Crusaders try to get some of that momentum back. Davin Spike. Collins with a nice shot. And it looked like number eight touched the net when he was hitting. So point will not count for Providence. Crusaders will earn the point. Number eight is not too happy with himself there. Costing his team a point. And Baker's serve falls short. Number 13, Sean Davin, your server for Providence. Number five, checking in for number six on the substitution for Providence. Davin serve. Baker handles it. Over to Lions. Mike, a little tip over. It's good. Bit of a miscommunication there. As, and it looks like Providence will earn the point there. Providence trying to hype up the crowd after that miscommunication right there. So Providence point 21-19. Davin serve. Collins handles it over to Murnane. Mike tip over. Good save there by Collins. By it's a spike. Number five. Good defense. Murnane. Mikert's tip over is long. It's 21-20. It's a one-point game. Celtics are coming back in this game, and they are fighting to the very end. Escobarette checking in full of Crusaders. Providence has just been a brick wall up front. They Crusaders haven't been able to get anything in terms of spikes or just tip overs. Lions' spike tips off number five and falls in for a point. Much needed point there for the Crusaders. Crusaders trying to build off that now. Providence has taken the momentum. Crusaders trying to take it back inch by inch. Collins serve. Rubinsky gets it. Number eight spike. And it falls in. It's 22-21. Back and forth, back and forth. What a set going on right in front of our eyes. Set that started off with Crusaders kind of dominating. They were taking care of business. Providence has stormed their way back now to make this a one-point game. Mikert handles it over to Escobarett. Mikert's spike is good off the hand of Lubinsky. 23-21. Once again, the Mikert brothers is dominating this game. Matt Phelan checking in for Jimmy Lyons and John Mikert checking in for George Escobarette. Phelan, the server. Phelan, serve. Five bumps it. Over the spike tip. Over from the Crusaders. Carter Mosel delivering. It's 24 21 and it's game point for the Crusaders. Not over yet for the Celtics, but it's not looking great. Matt Sa Phelan on the serve. Crusaders looking to close it out here and take the second set and an overall win. That Phelan hits it. Mikrit, a shot. It falls. Crusaders take the second set, sweep Providence, and open up ca conference play with a win. What a great game. Love to call these types of games competitive. A lot of hustle going on. Great win for the Crusaders to open up CCL play. Yeah, it was a great hustle all around from both teams. 
had guys diving everywhere for balls. You know, great finish to that last to that last set. You know, Providence did a nice job coming back. Crusaders responded well, and once they got a glimpse, a little taste of that momentum back, they they took it full on, and they just they ran with it and were able to pull away. That's going to do it here for our broadcast. I'm Brian Sheehan, alongside me, Timmy Reedy, our cameraman, Marty Flynn, our producers, Brian Dalgale and Charlie Snyder. Have a good night.